Hello? Oh, hello. I thought I saw someone. I was about to go to bed and I saw you from my window. Can I help you with something? Oh, no. I'm just here to see the northern lights. Okay. Okay, it's just it's awful late and you're my yard. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the northern lights. And then I'll be gone. I hope you don't mind. Is that your tent? Yes. You've pitched a tent. So I have a place to sleep. In my yard. After I see them, I hope you don't mind. It's not that I mind. Do you mind? I don't mind, I just... Oh no, I think you mind. I don't know if I mind. I no, just... you do, you do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think you would. I didn't think... You see, it says in your brochure... My brochure? That people from Maine wouldn't mind, it says. That people from Maine are different. That they live life the way life should be. And that in the tradition of their brethren in rural northern climes like Scandinavia, that they let people who are complete strangers like cross-country skiers or bikers or hikers camp out in their yard if you need to. For nothing, they'll just let you. I'm a hacker. Is it true? Well... That they'll let you stay in their yards if you need to? Because I need to. Camp out? Because I'm where I need to be. This is the farthest I've ever traveled before. I'm from a part of the country that's a little closer to things. Never been this far north before, or east. And did you know that Maine is the only state in the country that's attached to only one other state? Um. It is. Feels like I'm at the edge of the world, and here I am at the end of the world, and I have no place to go. So I was counting on staying here, unless it isn't true. I mean, is it true? Well. That would you let a hacker who is where she needed to be camp out in your yard for free? Well... I mean, if a person really needed to. Well... Really, really needed to. Well, if a person really needs to, oh, sure. Oh, I'm so glad then. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I need that. Oh, here. Thank you. So you're just looking for a place to see all the lights from? Yeah, just tonight. Well, you might not see them tonight because you never really know. Oh no, I'll see them. Because I'm in a good place. Your latitude is good. And this is the right time for it. Solar activity is at an 11 year peak. And boy, you have a good sky for it. There's lots of sky here. Used to be a potato farm. I was going to say, no trees in the way. And it's flat. Makes for a big sky. So, you're a farmer? No, used to be a farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Fix things. Uh, oh. What? You're not a lobster man. No. I guess I thought that everyone from Maine was a lobster man and talked in that funny way like they do in Maine, but you don't talk like that. You're not down east. You're up north, and this is how we talk up north, pretty much. Oh. Plus, ocean's a couple hundred miles away. Be an awful long ride if I was a lobster man. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you. Thank you for letting me stay. I've had a bad enough time with things lately not to be given a bad time. Oh. Um. Oh. Um. Oh, boy. Um. I'm sorry, I just... I think I love you. Really? Yeah, I saw you from my window and I love you. Well, that's very nice, but there's something I think you should know. I'm not here for that. Oh no, I didn't. I'm think you here were. to pay my respects to my husband. Oh. Yeah, my husband, Wes. He died recently, on Tuesday actually, and the Northern Lights, did you know this? The Northern Lights are really the torches that the recently departed carry with them on the way to heaven, and see, it takes three days for a soul to make its way home to heaven, and today's Friday, today's the third day, so you see, I will see them, Wes, because he'll be carrying one of the torches, and I just didn't leave things well with him, so I thought I could come here and apologize and not be bothered. But what you did there just a second ago, that bothered me, I think, and I'm not here for that, so maybe I should go and find another yard. No, no. I don't know what happened. 
Well, I do. I know what happened. I'm not the kind of guy who does things like that. Please don't go. Just do what you need to do and I'll leave you alone. Just consider what I did a very warm and welcome. All right. All right. Um, my name's Glory. I'm East. For East, and it's name of town a little ways that way. Was born there. Uh, mess up on the birth certificate. A son, Easton, born in Matthew, Maine. Jan January 6, 1990. Said the other way around. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah. So, Easton. Yeah? Yeah, I think I passed through near there on my way here. By the way, where is here? Where am I? I couldn't find it on my map. Um, almost? What? Well, see, you're in an unorganized territory. Township 13 Range 7. It's not going to be on your map because it's not a town, technically. What do you mean? See, to be a town, you got to get organized. And we never got around to getting organized. So we're just almost. Oh. Oh? What? Are you okay? Oh! Are you okay? My heart! Your heart? My heart! Your heart? You have my heart! I have your heart? It's in that bag! It's in that bag! Oh! Give it back to me, please! It's my heart! Oh, here! Thank you. Sure. I'm sorry. Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Yes. Is that what you just said? That your heart? Yes. It's heavy. Yes. Well, why is it in that bag? It's how I carried around. Why? It's broken. Oh, what happened? Wes broke it. Your husband? Yeah. And he went away. Oh. With someone else. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and when he did that, I felt like my heart would break, and that's exactly what it did. Hardened up and cracked in two. Hurt so bad I had to go to the hospital and when I got there, they said they were going to have to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor and it broke into 19 pieces. Slate. It turned to slate. Great for roofing. Wait a second. If your heart is in that bag, how are you alive? I mean, how do you breathe? Artificial. Really? Yeah, because my real one's broken. Because your husband left you? Yeah. Well, why are you paying your respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do when a person dies. You pay them respect. But he left you. I know, but... And it seems to me, anybody who leaves somebody doesn't deserve any respects at all. Well, I just didn't leave things well with him. And I need to apologize. What do you mean? Well... I just, I just need to apologize. Well, but he left you. I know, but. Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him. Oh. Yeah, and I need to apologize. See, he came to visit me when I was in the hospital from when they put my artificial heart in. I was almost better. I was just about to go home and he told me he wanted me back. And I said, Wes, I'm sorry. I have a new heart now and it just doesn't want you back. And that just killed him. Oh, it didn't kill him. You didn't kill him. Yes, I did. Because he got so sad that my new heart didn't want him back that he just tore out of the hospital. And an ambulance that was coming in from an emergency didn't see him and just took him right out. And if Glory. I had been able to take him back, then he wouldn't have torn out of there like that and Glory. been taken out like that. And so I just feel that for closure, the right thing to do is... Please stop doing that! Why? I love you! Well, don't! Why? Because... I can't love you back. I have a heart that can pump my blood and that's all. The one that does the other stuff is broken. It doesn't work anymore. Give that back, Ease. Stop. It's no good like this. It's my heart, Ease. Yes, it is. And I can fix it. Ease, please give it back. Glory. Ease, please. It's, it's no my good heart. like this. But East, East, please. It's no good like this. But it's my heart, East. Yes, it is. 
And I believe I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman. I repair things. It's what I do. Oh, 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 Wes, Wes.